Hello, this is Jamie Magritch. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's a scrap card. I'm trying to use up some of my designer series paper. And let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need, you're going to need a pair of scissors. I'm using blueberry bushel ink and blueberry bushel um, cardstock. It is uh, one of the colors. Um, 2018-2020 in colors that are retiring this year uh, and this is five and a quarter by four I'm also using the gold foil edge uh, note cards and envelopes these are also retiring this will get put on there and then I have some strips these are half inch strips of designer series paper this is the tropical oasis designer series paper I have a die. This is the painted labels die, and I die cut Whisper White uh, for my sentiment with that. Um, this one is um, from Beauty Abounds, and this is one of the um, tro tropical dies. And I've already die cut those out of some scrap foil card that I had. Uh, this is not Stampin' Up, but. It's what I had, so let's. All right, it's over here, so I don't lose it. Okay, so it's really quite easy. You're gonna figure out which order you want your um, papers to be in. So in this one, I had a brown one, a, a floral one, or in this case, the leaves, and then a green one. Okay. Then I did it opposite the other way and I wove them in. So in this one it's going to be under, over, under. The next one is going to be over, under, over. And I left a little bit hanging out the end. Oh, I apologize for that never fails. Okay, you don't have to be perfect with this. Just play with it till you get them where you want them. Okay, so this one's going to be down here towards the bottom more. And you'll see in this, I left maybe a quarter of an inch, a little bit less. Move this one down. Okay, then I took my glue. When I had them where I wanted them, I'll put them a little bit closer together. Just a little bit. Then I just lifted up the edge and just put a teeny tap uh, dot of glue. Not much at all, of course. Left it sitting open so it dries out. Come on, there we go. Line it back up. Basically, just have to do the outside ones. They don't have to be perfect, like I said. Tiny dot. I don't know if you can see that. I don't put much glue. Well, it helps if I don't pick it up while I'm doing it, but. Okay, one more little spot on this end. Okay. Now I use the wet glue so I can still wiggle them around a little bit if I need to. Okay. I'm going to take my snips. I want these ends to match, so I'm going to just trim these just a tiny bit so that they sort of match. I'm going to lift up this tip here, put a little bit of glue there. That one's moving. A little bit of glue here. Okay. 
Now I just cut these at an angle on the other end. I brought my card base in and I set it down on there. I want it to be down here in this corner. And I just cut them in angles. So I cut like that. This one's longer, so I cut like that. This one's shorter, but not as short as the brown one. And this one, let's see about there. This one's almost maybe half an inch from the top. And then this one is sh shorter, but not as short as the green one. Okay, like that. And then I put glue on the back of that and glued that down. Leave these two unglued for now, or don't glue them hard because you're going to tuck your um, sentiment border underneath, or die underneath it. Okay, so just put some of those glue under there. Let's bring it over a little bit. Okay, so just make sure these two edges don't get glued yet. Alright, now we're going to bring in our sentiment. And the blueberry bushel ink. I'm going to ink that up well. Make sure I don't have anything on it. So right in the center of that card, we're going to stamp that birthdays are the best days. Perfect. Okay, we're going to put some glue on the back of it. And we're going to tuck so that this corner is completely underneath. Try to get it lined up so that it looks straight here. Okay, then I'm going to come in with these. One's going to go here and one's going to go here. Let's glue this one on first. Just put a couple little dabs on the back. You don't need much. Little as tiniest bit. That way you don't get any oozing out on you. little tiny bit. You don't have to hit every leaf either, just a good amount. This one goes lower. There we go. Perfect. Whoops, stuck to my finger. Alright, now let's put some glue on the back of it. Add that to our card base. It's going to be about an eighth of an inch border because it's a quarter of an inch smaller than the card front. There we go. There's a card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.